Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to this uh, evening broadcast where we are bringing to you some of the pressing issues. We are bringing to you some of the pressing issues this evening. I could promise the evening program, welcome, welcome, and welcome. This is a late uh, broadcast. We are live and direct on Enter Biafra Channel 1. We are live and direct. Welcome, welcome, we are back. This evening, we're going to be discussing uh, some of the uh, uh, issues that are happening now, especially the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, as the way the, the uh, government are hiring uh, these uh, talks and some youth in some part of Biafra land. And they are, they are, you know, staging some protests and all that. So it is the evidence, it is evidence that we finally hit the jackpot. We finally hit the jackpot. Uh, we are hitting the jackpot. And, uh, and uh, we, we finally have gotten them, you know, where it pains. So uh, like, we have or, or like, like we have already said, we will be reviewing, reviewing this, uh, this uh, sit at home order to make it more even, uh, uh, you, know, you know, to bring more, more measures that will, that will uh, affect uh, the government as well. So what you see now going on in, uh, you know, Gidi, you know, Gidi, Gidi uh, youth, you know, Gidi youth, we don't know how many there are. Uh, what, what you see going on in Ogidi youth is very, very shameful. Uh, Ogidi people are not, uh, are not uh, known for those kind of, uh, those kind of uh, chaotic uh, behavior. So we uh, have actually watched, watched with a very keen interest the, uh, the, uh, the leader of the, of the youth in Ogidi. You know, uh, that person should check himself. I'm going to play that video here. And I'm sending a very uh, strong message to Ogidi. Ogidi people are not known to be coward. Ogidi, Ogidi people are not known to be coward. So the uh, the president, whoever the president of the youth of Ogidi, whoever he is, wherever he's coming from, and whoever that is paying him to uh, to bring pump action, uh, you know, where, and start walking on the street they should, should retract immediately. He should retract his steps and, uh, and uh, don't go further with this. This is not a threat, but it's a fact. We know that Ogidi people are not cowards. And uh, so the Ogidi boys, the uh, Ogidi youth, they should know that uh, somebody cannot leak them, collect money from uh, uh, probably is a member of one political uh, party, collected money and they want to show some muscle. So that will not be allowed. That will not be allowed. And Ogidi people must come out to distance themselves from, uh, from uh, that kind of man. I'm going to play that video this evening. We know that uh, you know, more of it will be coming. Uh, we know uh, uh, that uh, some of, uh, some of uh, those kind of uh, things will be coming. We, we know that. And we know that uh, 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 people will be paid to stage this. But then... They can protest uh, for all we care. The only protest that will matter is when they, when they come to protest, the military will deal with them because, because the military and the Nigeria police and the Joint, joint uh, Tax Force will deal with them on Monday. So if they want to show their power, they can come and face the military because we are not even going to, to you know, disturb anybody because the military will use them to blackmail hip hop. You know, so if they want to protest, they should come on Monday when the sit at home will be going on to protest so that the military will use them. The Nigeria security agents they are trying to, to talk to will use them to, to do a pepper soup. So the thing we are trying to say now is that more of this may come and, it, you know, it can also be that uh, not, all, not all youth will be, will be chaotic and uh, stupid to collect money in this critical time. Of the struggle for Biafra, and uh, and uh, you know come to come to the street to say they are not uh, supporting the sit at home. The sit at home it has now proven that uh, 
uh, we, we hold them where it pains them. And then we are going to put more measures. In, order, in addition to this seat at home, we are going to put more measures. And let me make it very clear. Anybody that tells you that one day of, uh, uh, one day of, uh, of a seat at home is going to ground his uh, activities or business, the person knows that he's lying. Nobody that is doing business, nobody that is a businessman in Biafra land that will wake up today and tell you that, uh, oh, because I did not open on Monday, so my business crashed, is a lie. Nobody. So we know anybody who is in business, who is in business knows exactly, you know, that, uh, you know, opening on Monday or not opening on Monday. It doesn't matter which day, whether Monday, Tuesday, if you, if you don't open your shop one day in a week, it doesn't make you poor and it will not crash your business. So anybody coming to tell you that is strictly and directly working with the government. And for those who follow this kind of president of youth or youth president, you know, to come and start demonstrating in the street today, because they did not demonstrate yesterday. They were paid by the political parties. Probably anybody that is joining me now must go away. I don't take people now until I put the link. So the, uh, the, uh, the, the issue here is that all the people that join that man with, because of ignorance, they must all desist from doing that. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to analyze it. I'm going to bring other videos. So if you are watching from Facebook, uh, those of you watching from Enter Biafra, I am not talking to you yet. I am only addressing those uh, that uh, we are inviting now from Facebook to join us. So let me uh, go commercial as you don't need to be listening to what I'm saying here. All right. So if you are watching, if you are watching from Facebook, we are going directly now to Enter Biafra ch Channel 1. So our message this evening goes to Ogidi, Ogidi youth, Ogidi youth, and anybody who is going to do like the Ogidi youth. We, we, it is not even Ogidi youth because we did not see Ogidi youth. Ogidi youth are many. And what we saw there was just some kind of uh, uh, few, few number of people who have collected 500. And when you look at them walking, you find out that some of them are walking against their will. So, so Ogidi Youth, the president of Ogidi Youth, because I'm not talking to Ogidi Youth, but I'm talking to the president of Ogidi Youth who came out with his stomach to go and mislead our youth. The message goes to you. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. You cannot be sabotaging Biafra and at the same time you say you want to fight for Biafra. It doesn't work like that. You cannot be serving two masters at a time. You can tell us that you are serving one Nigeria and they have collected money from one uh, uh, governorship aspirant or that you are serving the interests of one political party. We will understand you. Don't come and say you like, uh, you like, uh, you like uh, Biafra at the same time. You want to sabotage Biafra. We cannot condone that. The message is to Ogidi youth. Ogidi, not Ogidi youth because I know I have seen some of them and I know that they are not, they are not uh, they, you know, they were working against their will. But the message goes to the stomach, to the stomach uh, carrier, yeah. the, the, the man who was leading them. You don't, you don't do that. Ogidi are not cowards. If you, if you must be a president of youth, you must be ready to, to pay price of uh, standing on the truth. You cannot be president and misleading youth. You cannot be president and lies. So it is not what we can accept. If you don't, if you like Facebook, stay on Facebook. We have our own platform. Facebook is better. We have our own platform. Are you the owner of Facebook? Come to Enter Biafra. That is where we dish our information. Thank you very much.